Hey guys, welcome to another uh, Stage State Entertainment show. I'm trying something new called uh, James Games Corner. I'm James, of course, with Julian, the HMFIC here at Stage 3. <laughs> um, we're going to sit around and kind of talk about some games today and get to know Julian a little bit better. So I'm going to go through and ask Julian what his top five games of all time are so we can kind of pick his brain and see what type of things he likes. God, top five games of all time. I know what my greatest game means. A lot of people are going to be like, you're a fanboy for that, but I don't care. Um, top five, not in any particular order. No particular, no, no pressure. You don't have to mark them one, two, three, four, five. Just, just lay them out there. It's got a whole stack on the table. Okay, so the game that has started, and I think it's still one of the greatest games, uh, Super Mario 64. That's fair. Um, just going from, you know, 2D to completely 3D for the 64. It revolutionized, it revolutionized gaming, altogether. gaming altogether. Right, and don't get me wrong, the motion and the graphics, the camera the in cam itself <laughs> yeah. can get annoying at times, but for what it did back in 97, I want to say, it was fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I, I have to say, I put it in that shelf of those are my greatest games. That's one of my greatest games. That's, um, that's definitely fair. I mean, it's one of the things where it's, especially when you're young and like, that's, it's like seeing a whole new life for the first time. It's like, yes. oh, this is what games are. <laughs> exactly. So like we went from like a Game Boy playing like, you know, the original Pokemon to that. We're just like, whoa, this... Mm -hmm. This is really different. It's so lifelike. It looks so real. Exactly. <laughs> so that's that's why I would say that's why 64 is going to be on the shelf for me in terms of one of the best games. Um, second, not second, but another one second. <laughs> would have to be Halo 3. 3, okay. Everybody's going to be mad. Uh, everybody says Halo be the best one it's like halo was i go halo 2 halo was good halo 2 was great halo 2 was great my only problem was arbiter's missions kind of threw it off for me fair whereas three you got an entire like the best ending of a trilogy you can yeah get out of master chief and the gameplay was phenomenal the multiplayer i spent hours like Days on the multiplayer, and I love the multiplayer so much. So. Shotty snipes on the pit. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I, I remember because uh, the Halo Three beta came out with Crackdown originally, and people like me and my friends we just bought Crackdown for the Halo Three beta. It's not bad at all. I love no. that game. <laughs> no. Yeah. So that's why. And then um, I don't know. Just overall, I love Halo Three. Um, I'm gonna go with a racing game this time. Okay. I thought about Midnight Club, Double Edition, but I'm gonna go with Need for Speed Lost Warning. Really? The original. Okay. I was I was expecting Underground Two. Well, see, all right. So Underground Two, actually, yeah, Underground Two was really good. Don't get me wrong. It gave us that idea of like, hey, let's go do street racing, let's mm -hmm. go drag racing, things like that. I liked that, but my problem was is I loved running away from the cops. Whoa. Careful. Like, <laughs> you're on camera. <laughs> <laughs> in the gaming aspect. Okay, yeah, okay. In the okay. gaming aspect. Mm -hmm. um, just being able to get into my Corvette or my Mustang that I had and being able to get away from the cops with all stars, including the state and law enforcement or law enforcement mm -hmm. trying to grab at you with their Corvettes was basically yeah. one of the most satisfying moments in the game for me. So I, I get, I'll put that one on top. It kind of combined... A little bit of the GTA element, exactly with Need for Speed. So it's like not only is it the, the thrill of racing someone else, now it's like, oh, now it's literally feeling like under arrest because like the cops are after you now and all this stuff. So exactly, that's, that's, yeah. that's why I really liked that game. That's why it's going to be that would be one of my top five games. If I if they really could do a remaster for that, I'll be one of the first to cop it. I, <laughs> I love that game that much. Um, fourth, I would put. <laughs> Hold on, I'm thinking because it's like it, my do, oh, here we go. And speaking of Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas. I love San Andreas so much. CJ, the entire story wrapping around together with um, I forgot Samuel Jackson's character. Um, name. Officer Ten Pounds. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And how that entire story wrapped itself up was probably for me one of the best Grand Theft Auto games. Mm -hmm. Everybody says Grand Theft Auto Four is the best. 
I just I didn't get the satisfying ending that like I did in yeah. San Andreas. Yes, the ending in Grand Theft Auto Four, well, the final act where you either kill your cousin or mm-hmm. your girl that's your man gets killed. It's it was cool, but I didn't get the satisfying ending as where I went to go kill Samuel Jackson. At the end, <laughs> right. So I don't know. I I really love San Andreas. That would be by far my favorite Grand Theft Auto. It's a combination of like the music, the feel, and everything from the, like. I, four is great, but I three is my one of my or not three. Uh, San Andreas is one of my favorite because like it took stuff that three and Vice City did, yeah, and mastered it. And then it, like it, where obviously like when you go into four, got into four, it's like it was the next generation of Grand Theft Auto. Um, and it's like I don't, it's gonna sound weird for me. I, I, fit feel like the, the like the like NWA nineties and stuff hit home more for me than the. Uh, Exchange guy coming in from like Europe and stuff like that. Right, like it doesn't hit home as hard. Her, right, an immigrant coming to New York and basically trying to find the American dream. Yeah. Right, like don't get me wrong, it was not a bad concept, but for like like you said, for what I grew up on, for what mm-hmm. resonated with me, San Andreas is gonna get there. Yeah, that game is so good. I I still play it to this day. I have it on <laughs> Xbox backwards compatibility. Still play it. I will say on a, on a small rant real quick. I remember once you first can do the gang territory. Yeah, and start taking over that. I did all of that, and then spoilers, you get kicked out of that area, and you have to come back and do it all again. I was it. like, but it was all green. I, I did it for Grove Street. This was all for us. <laughs> what y'all do? Oh, y'all lost on the territory. So that was something that I was like, oh man. But yeah, that, that's that game's amazing. And then for my final final game, Ronnie get out, and what I consider the best. Again, people are gonna call me a fanboy. Batman Arkham City. Okay, it's funny because I did. I told you I I would made my top five just in case. Arkham City is on my top five games. It's just the <laughs> game is so phenomenal, and especially with the Bat mythos. Like, um, I was telling a friend the other day, like if you were think if you're looking for the modern day version of Batman the Animated Series, go look at Arkham City mm-hmm. because the way that they have invested putting stories and tidbits into the character origins or the villain origins all together it felt so much like Batman the Animated Series and that's why I loved it so much Um, we talked about this in the video you weren't in like in Arkham City and I'm going to correct myself this time it wasn't Zaz it was Calendar Man Mm -hmm. that if you go on a specific date Calendar Man he's in his cell telling you a story about how he killed some couple of people at a New Year's party or he killed this guy or girl at the Miss Halloween party, and it was and it was tidbits like that that mm. really got me going. Small little details, and right? Stuff. Yeah. And then like at the end, you know, you get tidbits of like how Joker's death affected the entire mm-hmm. Gotham game, and how it affected Batman himself because he's like, how I let one of my villains die almost mm-hmm. at my hands, right? Yeah. And so. With that, that's why I think that's one of the best superhero games and one of the best video games of all time. There's a lot of cool stuff with Arkham City that like you don't realize in your first playthrough. Like The very first thing you see when you um, start the game is there's this painting of... I can't remember the painting. It's a famous painting, but one guy's carrying out like his dead friend. Yeah. And then at the very end, spoilers, yeah. uh, around <laughs> he's, he shows him carrying out Joker similarism. the same way. Um, the whole fact that you have like the multiple kind of villain stories going on with like... Joker, um, Freeze. Uh, well, Strange, like the, the like Strange, Strange taking yeah. over, and then um, even Raz al Ghul, Ra's al Ghul, whatever you want to call him, and like how there's all these different stories going on, even though well, like it's not timed like a Majora's Mask is, where like if you sit there and wait, you'll lose, but you feel a sense of urgency because like oh I have this disease now and I'm sick and I have to go find the cure or I'm gonna die. It's like you could just sit there and leave the game on for a month and like Batman's like be like oh the. It's like, it's it's got to me. Right. But you feel like it is. You're like, oh, I gotta hurry get to this next place. And it's uh, like people love people love Arkham Asylum. Most people have Arkham Asylum over City. I always put City over. I, I just being out and kind of being able to roam a little bit more give you a more of a, a open world aspect. Gives it a Batman feel exactly. Which something that Spider Man that recently came out did very well too. Where it's like, because Spider Man wouldn't work in a small little building. Spider Man has to be in a big city. And I'm like, that's how I feel very much about Batman too. So that's why City. Ugh, it was the best <laughs> alright it was the best all bundled together kind of game right and that's why I was like to capture a character in this safe space this was the best one to do it 
Yes, Spider Man 2 in 2004 did a good job of it. This perfected it. And then Marvel Spider Man that was released on the 7th. Re perfected it. <laughs> it, was, it was great. So, as a quick recap before we close it out here, we have obviously Batman Arkham City. Yes. San Andreas. Yes. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Most Wanted. Oh, most Wanted, sorry. The names get me confused. Um, what are the other two? Uh, Mario 64 and. Halo 3. Halo 3. So that's Julian's top five. Uh, thank you for tuning in with us today. Um, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, share with your friends mainly, tell your friends about us. Um, anything else, Julian? I mean, that's pretty much it. Just keep looking forward to more content. We'll be pushing out more as the weeks go by. But other than that, stay tuned.